that's when I met Dr. Terris. They were gonna go behind my ear and make an incision and just take the cyst out. It took me about a month to get back to my normal self and I just started my healthy lifestyle from there on. I'm so thankful I don't have a scar on my neck. Nobody would ever know that I had my thyroid taken out and I'm just glad I can walk around confident again. And Dr. Terrace from Georgia Health Sciences University Hospital has pioneered this new procedure and he's here with us today. Thank you. Welcome. And Rachel, if I may, how do you feel? I feel great. I still check to see if it's there. I still catch myself doing it. I feel confident. Because I don't see anything. I you don't either. But it's not there. <laughs> I know. This is so, <laughs> I think we need to back up a second and, and tell us about Rachel, what she had, why she needed to have her thyroid removed. So a little bit of hyperthyroidism, but the main uh, concern was an enlarging mass in the thyroid gland. And this is a common condition that we see all the time. And when it gets large enough where you can see it from across the room, that typically requires a removal of the thyroid. Doing it robotically, knowing what's in there and in around the thyroid, there are a lot of things that you want to make sure that you preserve nerves to your voice box, parathyroid glands, all those things. So that part helps as well, right? Yes, it's the magnification of the robot and three-dimensional visualization, especially in this very small space in which we have to work. And so um, it's particularly useful for thyroid surgery. All right, well, I'm going to give it a try and show everybody out there exactly what you are doing when you do this. And, and we have a young woman patient, very similar to Rachel, who's presenting with a mass in her neck. She needs a thyroidectomy. So she's taken to the operating room. Her head is turned. Now, in this case, instead of making that incision horizontally in the lower part of the neck, what's different about this procedure, we're using a modified facelift incision that we're following the hairline going into the, the crease of the ear and stopping at the earlobe and through there getting down into the neck to remove that thyroid gland. So that's to show you the incision that Dr. Terrace makes. He does a dissection through the tissue, identifies the thyroid gland. As you can see, it sits on the trachea, the windpipe, a lot of key structures, very rich blood supply that is coming into this thyroid gland. But this is the ringer here. Those little orange circles, those are your parathyroid glands. They control the metabolism of calcium in your body. You have to make sure you leave them and you don't injure them. That's where the robotic surgery comes in and makes it such a big, huge advantage. Dr. Terrace has three robotic arms on his system that he uses to carefully dissect away the thyroid gland, leaving the parathyroid glands, those key nerves, clipping those blood vessels. That robotic arm grabs the gland and then removes it from the body like so, leaving that nice and clean. And he closes up his, his incision behind the ear thereby avoiding that incision down in the neck. She's left with that nice facelift incision. Nobody's going to see it. Mm -hmm. well I think this is a great example of how we're using modern technology to suit the needs of the patient. Yeah, it would not be possible without the technology behind it. So the robot really makes it easier to go from this, this remote location to get to the thyroid gland. Great stuff. Rachel, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.